Let's draw the structure for 2-methyl propyl ethanoate. This is an ester. An ester has two parts. One is the parent chain, which is from the carboxylic acid, and the other part is the side chain, which is from the alcohol. In the parent chain, we have an H here at the end. This H tells us that this is an ester and that we have a presence of the functional group COO. Carbon having a double bond with this oxygen right here, which is the first carbon and oxygen, and carbon having a single bond with this second oxygen right here. Okay, so we have the functional group drawn in. Let's work on the parent chain. So this eth here tells us that there are two carbons in the parent chain. Now the carbon in the functional group is always the first carbon. So we need two carbons in total, so we're just going to draw another carbon here. Okay, so now let's work on the side chain, which is 2-methyl propyl. Now this propyl here tells us that there are three carbons in the side chain. And the side chain always attaches with the oxygen in the functional group. Okay, so let's draw the side chain with this oxygen right here. Okay, so let's number these carbons. So this is our first carbon here second carbon here, and the third carbon. Okay, now we have a methyl, which is attached to this propyl here. And it is attached on the second carbon, which is right here. Okay, so let's get rid of these numbers and let's attach a methyl on the second carbon, on the side chain. Since we are drawing a line structure, we don't really need to draw out this carbon here. So let's get rid of this carbon and the number. So this is the structure for 2-methyl propyl ethanoate. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.